In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. This is the first reference to poppies in association with war in a poem by a doctor called John McCree, who was on the front line in the First World War. It is a hundred years this year since the outbreak of the First World War, and it is a war that changed everything in the modern era. So no one was to know that a few short months after the end of the First World War and peace is declared, that the Western Front was going to be covered in blood red again, but this time, it was with fragile, beautiful poppies. It's what started and planted the seed of the poppy being the symbol for remembrance and respect for those who give their lives and gave their lives. And I really wanted to do a sculpture, a piece to mark it in some way. And I thought about a root of an idea um, now, because of the John McCree poem from 1915 that I'd read at school, the poppy seemed like an icon to use. Um, it is the icon of the First World War, and it started then with that poem and has carried through history as an icon of veterans and conflict and remembering. The other image that was always popped into my head, even as a child, was the image of soldiers raising the flag on Iwo Jima in the Second World War. And that image is always burnt in my head as some sort of an icon of war. So starting with the poppy in that picture, I used those as the root and made my sculpture. So each edition sculpture is going to be basically labelled by day. Day one, August the 4th, 1914 and carry all the way through for every single day that the First World War was fought and the conflict was on. And that makes each sculpture unique and as unique as every single day was in the First World War and as unique as all of those who died in the First World War, which was really important to me. So in my own small way, this is about not being sentimental in any way about what's happened, but about just making sure that everyone who fell in the First World War and died and in that war and all conflicts ever since right up to the present day are never forgotten. <laughs>